What's up, Burgos? What are you guys doing? You, you're, you're cursing somebody out? You're like, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. <laughs> uh, you've reached your limit. You've reached your fucking capacity. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, shit. You know, you ain't trying to light anybody up sexually anymore. You ain't trying to light anybody up any which way anymore. Let's see. Virgo, what is up? My lighter doesn't want to work, so we got to find the matches. Found the matches. All right, let's go. Let's go, Virgo. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't make it fit. If it doesn't fit, know that rules can be reversed. If I say to you, it could be a person. Do talk a little dirty. So if you get offended by uh, naughty talk, just find your way out of the read. Come again another day. Smoke a bitch out. Let them sit. Let it burn. Let it burn. All right. Take a deep breath. <sighs> And release. Don't go back to smoking cigarettes, okay? I see you. Keep the cigarette out of your fucking mouth. <laughs> All right, let's go. Virgo, what is going on in your world? I feel like firecrackers. Firecrackers are going off, Virgo. Firecrackers. All right. So you may feel like you have a past life connection with someone. Um... You have known each other before, and then there's stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring your bring you romance, and then the wedding card and the deception. So it looks like there's a third party going on to me. Uh, it looks like somebody's being deceptive in a marriage or partnership, and uh, they're going for. A connection that they feel more passion for. Somebody brings them positive energy. All right. Not really what I was expecting, but okay. It's the theme of the week, right? I feel like my collective, you guys are, a lot of you are in third party situations. All right, Virgo, what's going on with you and this person here? Camera, uh, reminiscing, it, the camera was in reverse, so you could be a photographer. Um, no longer making memories with someone or replaying past deception here. You could be 38, 40, what's going on? And somebody's having paradise over here, passion. In paradise, going to paradise with someone here. Um, do you know this person is fucking around with someone else or no? Seduction. This person may be seducing somebody at work. <sighs> All right. So you you could be married, and there's deception happening at your uh, partner's workplace or where they go frequently. There's a, attraction and flirting and dating and temptation, third party interference, communication. So there's some communication coming in about this. Virgo energy, Virgo, oh fuck, up in the head. Are you guys, are you guys headed towards somebody else here? And you're in mental conflict about the communication you're having with this person. I think it's you guys. Virgo, I think this is you that's being deceptive to your partner. 
to your lover. Yeah. You got an extra lover over here. There's an extra lover over here. Gemini energy. What's going on with Virgo? Virgo, you could be connecting with the Libra Gemini Aquarius. What is this Queen of Swords doing? All right. So someone's going to ask you to stop fucking juggling me. This, uh, or this is you. I feel like you guys are having a third party. You're going, you're, or you're going, you're wanting to go after a passionate connection here. Um, somebody may be finding out about it, about the two being juggled. And this person is going to feel really disappointed about it. Virgo, what's going on? This person feels that um, there's immature love or you have immaturity. And um, you're fucked up in the head. That's what this person feels like. You're fucked up in the head and you're immature. You're emotionally immature. You could have kids with this person. You could have two kids. It's not a growing connection with this person. Six of Cups is in reverse. So it's no longer growing. Um, moon energy. Yeah, look at this shit. Moon energy. So... You're walking away in the moonlight, exploring other options. Trying to walk away from like any kind of stress or conflict that's going on with your, your wife or your husband. Conflict, stress, whatever. And you're moving really quickly to this other person in the next eight days, eight weeks. Maybe you started this shit in, you know, the summertime in August. You're howling at the moon at this person. All right. High Priestess, uh, Pisces. High Priestess in reverse. So it's coming to light. It's coming to light about how you're moving. Because you've been moving very mysteriously and somebody sees that. So they're going to... They're going to try to balance it with you. I figure out how to balance it with you. They may get uh, the law involved. You could have been like having uh, domestic violence here. Um, this person may be um, given divorce papers. They're blowing the whistle really quickly. Libra energy. Yeah, holding back from you. Holding pentacles back from you. This could be a younger uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn that's watching and stalking all your shit. Someone's tired of battling and having to compete for your time and attention, and they're tired of the third party. So somebody knows about the third party. They know they're going to find out that you're married or that somebody else is married, uh, that there's a relationship here that's in marriage. So someone, yeah, marriage. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So there's going to be a marriage ending here. Uh, stability is going to be going two, two different ways. Thief in the night. Somebody's being a thief. Um, so somebody may be thieving on your finances or you are, you're running away from a family dynamic to be a thief. Not to say it that way. Hello. Hi, I am calling on behalf of Congresswoman Nicole. Like somebody maybe um, this person may be calling your phone. Um, someone's hiding and hiding and going towards somebody else in the moonlight. That's basically it. That's basically it here. So, what's up? So, somebody's going to stop working on the connection with you and become single. Like, somebody's just going to say, I want to be single. I'm tired of the rejection. I'm tired of you doing this dirty shit to me. I'm tired of you putting me in mental conflict. Uh, I'm tired of waiting for you to give me a commitment even. Like, you're just 
tired or this person just tired of the fuck shit. Virgo, they're letting the tower crumble. But don't shoot the messenger. Okay. Alright, Virgo, what is up? What's the guidance for Virgo? Envy, grief. There's a lot of grief here. There's a friendship. You probably started as a friend with this person before you started seducing them and going to paradise with them. Um, needing to forgive. You've probably have been in indecision and worrying about your partner finding out. Um, also in your pride and ego. somebody envies the relationship um, that you have with someone else. I don't think this person likes that you're with someone else. And they want your relationship to end. Yeah. So they want more. This person wants more than just a friendship. They want that to end over there. This person has a lot of empathy and they show a lot of gratitude to you, Virgo. Um, maybe you weren't trying to be sneaky in this situation. Maybe you're just not happy in your relationship. And this person came along. They were nice with you. And you caught feelings. All right. It happens. It, ha it happens. It doesn't always have to be, like, malicious. Like, oh, I, I purposely cheated on you to hurt you, you know. Sometimes that just happens. But you have to, you know, you got to take accountability for it and know that it's, you know, it's a hurtful situation for your person here that you're married to or who you're in the relationship with. Somebody, you see somebody as you, your partner could be a Taurus, Libra energy, that is ending it with you walking away, exploring other things. Scorpio. This person's tired of feeling like there's deception it's a dead end they don't even feel like it's a marriage like they don't feel the same as when they first started here virgo what's going on there's immaturity and insecurity somebody maybe just you know waving their passion stick around town in and out energy hit it lick it leave it type of shit because they sit in disappointment and they don't feel good enough about themselves they've had a lot of rejection on them um just feel beaten down somebody's beaten down and they're just trying to look for celebrations and looking for somebody to show value in them so this person was looking whoever this is that was going outside the relationship they were looking for validation because they weren't feeling good enough with themselves and then they couldn't give enough to you so you couldn't make them feel good um, there's a lot of passion sexual desire with this person and uh, claiming victory with this person over to this side that one that you feel like you have a soulmate connection with past life connection and uh the person that you've been juggling third party celebrations with more than one person so what's the outcome here ending a lover lover's relationship possibly with a gemini no longer feeling uplifted or loving to this person there's no gratitude for one another in this this marriage here or this partnership here there's no ten of cups there's no truth, there's no honesty, there's no trust. It's all lost. Sagittarius. Damn. You're coming out of indecision, though, and you're staying really tempered, and you're getting unstuck from this situation. So I think you're happy that you're moving out of this, and you're moving into this relationship. Sticky situation, guys. I think you're wanting to take everything that you were giving to this person over here. You wanted to take it and put it all onto this person over here. That openly, like, loves you. 
or shows love to you or you know shows that they're, they're sexually drawn to you they invest in you taurus virgo capricorn taurus virgo capricorn again this single single entity this person's not attached to anybody uh, uh hold on this person could be attached to someone because the ten of pentacles and the nine of pentacles pentacles came back to back so this person uh could also be married and they're coming out of a marriage and they're single and they're you know they're transforming themselves you may have a parakeet or a toucan toucan <laughs> toucan sam maybe your name's sam but this woman's holding a bird in her hand a talking bird maybe a cockatoo too <laughs> a cockatoo and maybe you're Maybe you work with tools, cockatoo. You got a lot of love for this energy here. Cancer, a lot of love for this person. You guys meet, it's magnetic with this one. All right, so I see why you wanna to charge to this person, emperor. This person has more maturity they have they're established they got love energy they got healing properties for you aquarius energy aries they got a whole lot of good shit for you this person here that one over there it's not a happy home it's not it's it's not committed either obviously there's no commitment here there's no elevation there's no wisdom here it's only heartbreak and sadness and an agony between the two of you so it's like yeah there was love at one point but love don't live here no more so somebody may be moving out of a home you're just focusing on you you're focused on a new emotional beginning a new a new loving connection or this is just you saying okay I'm coming out of this and I'm going to love on me so nice and I'm going to heal my traumas. I'm going to heal from the endings. I'm going to go towards making friendships. And then along the way, you know, you have somebody come in and seduce you and take you to paradise, take you all over the world. And islands, you may be an island man or an island woman. So I, I see it's looking good. It's a little sticky. It's a little, you know. A little fucked up situation at the beginning. But as you clear this out, it's going to get better in the future. There's going to be hiccups, you know. Uh, ending partnerships and divorce is not an easy thing. I know it oh too well. Um, but you got to do what you got to do for your happiness, for your kids' happiness, for your pet's happiness, whoever the fuck with your family. You got to do what's best for your family, right? So if you feel like going towards somebody else or just pulling back and, you know, choosing yourself, then that's what you have to do. Once you love yourself, everybody's going to benefit. Everybody around you is going to benefit from you loving yourself. Strength. Yeah, you're going to gain up the strength here. Wide open. Things are opening up for you. The the possibilities are endless. Like, are open for you. The goblins and ghouls, they're, you know, you're putting them to the sidelines. 44, 42, and 5. Could have a May birthday. 24, 44. Somebody's just like reaching out to you to nurture you. Like, come over here. Let me give you stability. Let me give you strength. I'm a wide open. Like, my heart is wide open for you. Let me take you away from the goblins. Somebody may live in the woods. Unexpected visitors. So there may be somebody that's coming in unexpectedly that's, you know, raising, like, raising you up. Or somebody's just overstepping your boundaries with this shit. Unexpected visitors and goblins. Uh, somebody may be, you know, trying to 
sneak into your personal space or come into your home when you're not there or um, really making you feel uncomfortable. Somebody's going to make you feel very uncomfortable if they haven't done this yet. This is where they're headed. They're acting like a goblin. They're acting destructive. Very unbalanced individual. Um, I think you guys are going to have a very watchful eye on you by this person. Just peeking around the corner. Being a private eye. Yeah, well, you're gonna dry your tears. You're not gonna cry anymore for this fucking person. So, it's a wrap. What's going on? Virgo. Damn, Virgo. You know, you got me all bugged up. Sagittarius, luck is on your side. Surrender to the divine. Yes, yes, yes. Surrender it, surrender it. An end of a tough cycle approaches Capricorn energy. So this... Uh, nothing will come out of this situation. Have faith in your dream. So if it's something that you're wanting to change, go fucking for it. Because nothing is coming out of this relationship with this person other than fucking agony and disappointment. All right. Let's see. Self-care. What you can do to help higher your frequency. I do energy work, guys. I do cord cutting rituals. I do chakra healing intention candles. It's all on my website. Uh, with everything I send you, either a hypnosis or meditation to do for seven days. Uh, the cord cutting rituals, they are uh, pre-recorded. I tell you to get the ingredients for it. You watch me on camera as I do the ritual on my time. You watch it. You do exactly what I do. And we'll cut the cords between you and any of these goblins. Um, it's 40 I set it up here, put the candles on and a bunch of spices and I just say prayer and I, I detach you from their energy and it's just for you. It doesn't influence them in any way. It just takes, uh, you know, the negative thoughts about the situation. See, energy work, needing to clear, you needing to hydrate, you needing to drink, you needing to maybe plunge, do a cold plunge, you know, put your tub in, in cold ice water and just dive deep in it stay in there as long as possible one minute three minutes five minutes ten minutes whatever you can do to shock your system to get you out of this uh depression or you know heaviness that's uh, on you right now virgo you need to do your beauty ritual so maybe you haven't uh, been keeping up with your hair and nails maybe you haven't shaved your legs in a minute um self-care it up you deserve to go for a pedicure mani manicure or get you you know your beard shaped up a little bit or getting yourself a new outfit you deserve that you may want to do a burning bowl ritual which connects to my cord cutting um so basically in the cord cutting ritual i have you write down reasons why you want to detach from people and uh i, I write it out give me their names and i burn that uh as we do the ritual. So that's something to look into doing a burning bowl ritual yourself. Uh, use your hands. You may want to create some music. Okay, so you may want to pick up a musical instrument, maybe um, tongue drums or um, guitar or just like clay, just forming something with your hands. All right, I'm live every um, Thursday on TikTok and over here on YouTube. TikTok is Roots and Rewards Jesse Ray. Roots and Rewards Jesse. It's in the description box below. Um, let me know how this resonates, what your story is. I like to read them. Um, also, the more you engage with me, the more you talk to me, uh, the easier it is for me to pull on your energy, better guidance that I could give to you, follow over on all outlets, uh, push me back into the algorithm and that's it. So it's moving, it, it's looking good moving forward. This is just a little bit of a challenging time, uh, for you. And that is it. I'll see you again next week.
Hope you uh, have a great week. Keep yourself in high regard. Bye, guys.